Google Classroom is a fantastic tool, and I've been using it a lot lately to deliver some content in my self-development group, and particularly in a new health and fitness focused group that I've started. However, it has its quirks, and I'm going to show one in particular and how to overcome it that has recently surfaced. If you use Google Classroom as a teacher and you are onboarding students, you may have found that occasionally it does not like to add some email addresses. What you'll see here, I'm adding an email address and I get this message, can't invite student from this domain and it gives their email address. Unfortunately, if you're adding a list of email addresses, it doesn't do a very good job of even telling you which ones it's rejecting. So you have to do a hand audit, which is very difficult for the onboarding process. A lot of things that can be improved here. But what I want to talk about is the actual problem and how to overcome it and what's happening. Essentially, depending on the nature of the Google account, the, the Google workspace that you have the classroom in, and depending on the nature of the type of email address that you have invited, there are certain rules as to which users can join which classes. The particular rule that I've run into here is that if the person I'm inviting is also part of a G Suite account, and it is a custom, it's a custom domain. In this case, this, this uh, particular person I'm inviting who is a fitness trainer, bodybydes.nz, that domain also happens to be a G Suite account. And both of the accounts, the one hosting the classroom, which is uh, an organization called brojo.org, a men's self-development group. And the one I'm inviting, which is bodybydes.nz, both of those are in G Suite basic accounts. Now, the problem that that creates is that Google has some security permission settings uh, in the administration of G Suite that allows the administrators to control who's allowed to join their classes for any Google Classrooms that they create in that account, but also who their users are allowed to join as far as classes on other domains. And the idea here, I think, is to control the flow of information and the trafficking of documents. I don't really understand why there is why this is a security concern. But the problem is that if someone has a G Suite account, and they have not enabled the ability for their users to join someone else's Google Classroom on another domain, they will not be allowed to. And you won't be told why this is happening. You'll just see, can't invite student from this domain. If you click the learn more button, you'll get some pretty interesting technical documentation, which doesn't really explain what's going on. At least it didn't for me in this particular case. I had to do quite a bit of digging and experimentation to find it. So here's what you have to do. You, you have to make certain that your G Suite account is configured to allow users from outside of your domain to join. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. You also have to make certain that the person you have invited that on their G Suite domain, that they have configured the ability for their users to join Google Classrooms on other domains. Now I'm gonna show you this all in one go. I'm gonna show it to you by going into the administration of this particular G Suite account, the bodybydes.nz example, which happens to be a, a client of mine. So here's what we're gonna see here. If I go into Google administration, you basically go to admin.google.com. And remember, this is for people that have a G Suite account. If you do not have a G Suite account, um, and then this won't apply to you. This is this specific problem, the specific demonstration of this error that I'm getting is where both you have a G Suite account that you're running the Google Classroom on and the person you've invited also has a G Suite account which is running under a business domain name. Right now, I'm on the person that I'm inviting. I'm in that G Suite configuration. This is what they would need to do. So. The in both cases, for me as the administrator of my class and for the, the person that I'm inviting, the settings are under Google Classroom. But 
where the Google Classroom settings are depends on the type of account that you have. So it's easiest just to search for it. We're gonna type in, uh, we're gonna type in Google Classroom. And you'll see right here, there is class settings. Because this is a G Suite basic account, they have put it under additional Google services. If it was a different type of account, such as a G Suite for education account, or a G Suite for nonprofits account, then it would be under apps. It would be in a different place. So I'm gonna go into the class settings and you can see straight away the configuration here has two different settings. One, which I would need to set as the person delivering the class in my own G Suite account. The other, which my student needs to set in their domain in order to enable their users to join my class, which is on a different domain. Hopefully this is making some sense. I feel like I should have drawn a picture. So I'm gonna show you both settings here. This first one here, who can join classes in your domain? In my configuration, I need to set that to any user. I want anyone that I've invited to be able to join without restriction. That's the whole point. I've got people all over the world. They've got all sorts of different email addresses on all different platforms. I want them to be able to join my class. So I set that setting here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and set that in this account too. Even though this is my client's account, I happen to know they will also be using Google Classroom and will also be inviting people from all over. So they need that setting as well. Now the second setting, which classes can users in your domain join? This is why the student was blocked from joining my domain and it didn't give much explanation. I need to set this to any G Suite class. You could set it to classes in whitelisted domains and then you could explicitly say, I want to allow my users to join classes from brojo.org, but most likely setting it to any G Suite class should work just fine. Now I'm gonna go ahead and you notice here, changes may take up to 24 hours to propagate so we don't know how long this is gonna take for it to actually work, but I've gone ahead and changed the settings on the bodybydes.nz account, which means that I should now be allowed to invite des at bodybydes.nz, although it may take 24 hours. Let's see if it works, fingers crossed. It worked. That's the first time I've actually seen it work. This took a bit of effort to figure out what the heck was going on. Now it was convenient that I happened to have the ability to access the administrative console of that particular person that I invited. For your clients, for the people that you're inviting, that is almost never gonna be the case. So you will need to send them some instructions, perhaps this video, on how to configure their domain in order to allow their users to join your class. Good luck.